here we are. This feels like a, a big moment. I uh, started this YouTube channel when I was 17 and I started posting videos from my parents' basement and doing some spoken word poetry and also some street witnessing encounters that I had, uh, that I recorded. And one of the things that's just been crazy is to see how God has used this ministry over the last years and how amazing it has been to see so many people kind of come around and support what I'm doing and also just get out the message of what it means to follow Jesus daily. That has been so amazing. My, my, my thing from the beginning has always to be focusing on the mission over the metrics. It's never been about the views. It's never been about any of that other stuff. It's really just about how can I steward what God has given me effectively and do it in a way that that honors and glorifies him. That's been my heart. I'm really just about the simplicity of the gospel. Like that's my heart. I just want to share Jesus with people that they can find forgiveness and, and redemption and a restored relationship with God and, and be invited into the inheritance that God offers and eternal life and into his family. It's, it's an amazing thing that I just never get tired of talking about. And so to give you a little bit of an insight, I've been kind of in between uh, working this job part-time and, and another job part-time Time just over the last few years, especially since COVID, um, this more support has come in, which has been amazing. But I've kind of been in between, you know, and I think God was pushing me to this place. I, I don't think I know. God was pushing me to this place where I was getting a little bit complacent. It was uh, becoming a little bit too easy. You know, I was I was comfortable. I had my schedule kind of all set. I I do you know YouTube content on uh, Wednesdays and Thursdays and Fridays, and then I work my other job on Mondays and Tuesdays and sometimes Wednesdays. And uh, you know, my life is good. My life is great. But he was really saying like Isaac, like what are you what are you doing? You know, like this was your goal from all along to do this full time, to really step into this, to utilize and steward what I have given you. So what's holding you back? And at the end of the day, I had to come to terms with the fact that it was fear. It was fear of maybe when I make this next step, like God will not be there as much as he's been previously. Like, you know, when, when you, we kind of have that safety net of thinking, you know what, I, I got this thing. So even if the, the, the ministry falls down or, you know, does, doesn't do as well um, and maybe the support isn't as much, I'm still good because I got all this other stuff going on. But ultimately, um, I, I think it's good to be responsible and I, I'm, I'm still kind of connected with that idea of being responsible and, and not being unnecessarily uh, stupid with <laughs> your decisions, right? Uh, but at the end of the day, it comes down to, okay, I, I've done what I needed to do to prepare for this moment. Now it's just about saying to God, I trust you. I'm going to go all in and just like leave the rest to you. And that's what I'm doing. And so I quit my job the other day and I'm going full time into Daily Disciple. This is insane. I wrote down um, years and years ago, like this was one of my goals uh, that I that I wanted to, to maybe one day see if God would allow me to step into this. And, and ultimately it's been like open hands to God. Like God, I, I want you to lead me and guide me. And if this is something that you want for me, then you're going to need to take me there because I got no... I got, I don't have the power to do this. There's so many things out of my control, but in this season, here's what I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about, dang, I feel inadequate in a lot of ways, like in a lot of ways. I'm not, I'm not the Mike Winger. I'm not uh, the, the pastor that knows the Bible, you know, in and out. I'm just a guy that likes to talk about Jesus and likes to share about what he's learning in the, in the scripture and, and try to kind of maneuver around some of these lies that the culture is telling us. And that's my passion. And so, man, I feel inadequate and weak in a lot of ways. But one of the verses that really helps me, that has been an encouragement to me over the last few years, and especially over this last few days, as I've kind of come to this point of quitting my job and going full in on Daily Disciple, has been 2 Corinthians uh, 12, 9. And here it is. But he he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses so that the power of Christ may rest on me. So in the midst of that, I'm thinking, okay, I am weak. I have tremendous weaknesses, but I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses because it will point the attention, the glory, the spotlight back on God because he is the one who's doing it. It's not me. It's never been me. And so ultimately right now, here's the goal. Here's the mission is to be faithful with what God has given me. He's given me this audience. He's given me this platform and I want to use that and steward it for God's glory, not my own. That's been the mission from the beginning. And so I guess what I would ask you guys is if it's something that on your heart
part that you want to support what I'm doing. Maybe you've been watching for a while. Maybe you had to just, you know, new and you're like, okay, what's going on here? This is the first video I'm ever watching. You know, I just ask you to consider if you want to support my mission here of equipping people to follow Jesus daily. Um, if you can't, that's okay. Like, I just want you to watch. I just want you to share the, the content so then you can continue to be, um, you know, a vessel of, of sharing God's light with other people too online. That's my mission. That's my heart. And so for those of you who do want to help support me and what I'm doing, and and that was one of the things that was challenging to think about pursuing this career or, or passion or, or mission or whatever was, man, I, I really have the desire in my heart to get married one day and provide for my family, provide for my wife and, and be that godly man. But in the midst of that desire, it's been about trusting that God is going to guide me. He is going to provide for me. So you through your support, you are kind of playing a part, not kind of, but you are playing a part in being a blessing in my life and helping me continue to do that. So enough with the pitch. I just want to say I'm so excited about where this channel is going, uh, where the ministry is going in general. If you're not familiar, I post videos on Instagram and TikTok as well. You can follow me there at It's Isaac David and you can continue to connect with me on a more personal level on those platforms. And guys, I just, this is crazy. This is so exciting. Um, I just want to tell you that maybe you're in a place in your life where maybe your your hopes or your dreams, you, they haven't come to fruition yet. This isn't a, kind of a prosperity gospel, like just wait, everything that you want to happen will happen. Because I know on this journey, things haven't lined up exactly as I thought they would. But ultimately, I knew I could trust God. Not that he would deliver me the, the dream that I wanted, because even now I hold this with open hands saying, God, for however long you want me to do this, I will be here. But if you, if you change something, if you want me to go somewhere else, I'm there. That is where we need to be with our dreams. That is where we need to be with our desires, because ultimately my hope and my, my uh, purpose and my contentment is not necessarily just in, it isn't just in daily disciple, like it can't be, right? It is in God and my enjoyment of him and my desire to bring him glory. And in this moment, in this time, in this season, I'm here, I'm in this ministry and this is what I'm doing. Um, but I want to hold that with open hands to say, God, you guide me to where you need to guide me. And so for you in your life, hold your dreams and your desires with open hands because who knows what God's going to do with them, but you know that his plan is best. Okay, that's, uh, that's it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you again.